In the short time since this attack, as alleged in the complaint, we have developed evidence establishing that Saipov committed this attack in support of ISIS. That evidence is laid out in the complaint, but it includes the following. A note that was recovered just outside the truck that read, in part, no God but God, and Muhammad is his prophet. And Islamic supplication, it will endure, a phrase commonly used to refer to ISIS. Also, a search of cell phones found in a bag that he was carrying, a search conducted pursuant to court-authorized wiretaps, revealed thousands of ISIS-related images and 90 videos, about 90 videos, depicting, among other things, ISIS fighters killing prisoners by running over them with a tank, beheading them, and shooting them in the face. In Mirandized interview statements with law enforcement last night and today, Saipov allegedly admitted that he was inspired to commit the attack by the ISIS videos he watched and had been planning this attack for two months. He also admitted that he had rented a truck on October 22nd in practice to practice the turns he would make on his Halloween Day, Halloween Day attack. Of the eight innocent people Saipov allegedly killed yesterday, two were Americans, and the rest were foreigners visiting New York City. It has been reported that five of the victims were childhood friends from Argentina celebrating a high school reunion. Those Argentinian men came here, like the millions of other, vi other visitors, to see the sights and spend some time in the greatest city on Earth. For the same reasons that millions visit this city and find it so special, alleged terrorists like Saipov view the city as a prime target for their hate-filled crimes. But the thing is, for the alleged terrorists like Saipov, they will find in New York City something else, justice. They will find and have found that law enforcement and everyday people in this city are not afraid of their evil. They see through their false, hateful rhetoric and are committed to putting, bringing them to justice. And that is what we intend to do with Saifullah Saipov.